right, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Lawn Mower Detective, and I thank you all for being here. So we'll jump right into this. Um, this is originally a 45-minute video, so I changed the speed to three times, so it's only going to be about 15 or 16 minutes. So uh, bear with me, and uh, we'll get right into it. So right now, uh, this is one of two bowls that you'll see at the end of the video. It's Both bowls are made out of the same piece of firewood. And uh, right now, I am just basically... I have this uh, chucked up on the uh, worm screw and I'm just flattening off the bottom to establish the uh, foot of the bowl. So just keep watching. As you can see here I'm basically just flattening the, uh, the bottom surface so I can uh, establish the foot. So and I decided to uh, work on the profile a little bit as well. So I keep working on the uh, profile here. And I'm using the Easy Wood Tool CI2 uh, medium roughing tool carbide tip. Awesome, awesome piece of uh, kit there. So again, I'm trying to establish how far in I have to go to maintain a good foot or a tenon in this case in order to turn it around and uh, chuck it up in the jaws. This piece of wood, I have no idea what kind of wood it is, but it's turning really good. I like the fact that it still has the uh, chainsaw marks on the side or the sawmill marks it's really cool I like a little rustic bowl like this it's not very big I'd say it's probably about I don't know seven or eight inches wide and about four inches tall maybe three and a half four inches tall and again I'm just trying to establish the diameter of the foot as you can see it's almost there on one side and I have to take it down a little bit further in order to get a consistent uh, foot all the way around a good diameter so I'm almost there a little bit more yeah okay so I've established that uh, that's the good diameter so I'm going to start taking off some of this other material A little excessive but you know just like any good project you just have to take a little bit here and spin deck it and, and again in wood turning there are no errors there are just design changes so the wood pretty much dictates what you're gonna do with it I mean you can you can start out with the best laid plan but Depending on what happens to the wood, there could be a crack, there could be a void, there could be something. Once you get in, you don't know until you actually start to turn. See, this foot's a little off-center, but visually, it's, it uh, turns out good. And I was going to use my microphone while I was doing this, but the audio was just absolutely crazy. It's too way too loud in there. You got the lathe running. You've got the uh, dust collection running. You got the the uh, fan over my head, uh, which helps keep my face mask, my face shield clear of moisture and condensation. So it's just way too loud. So here I am, still working on the profile a little bit, and I'm gonna leave you all to it and let you watch this. And I'll come back whenever I uh, feel like the, I need to say something to you or tell you what's going on. Just stay tuned.
so here I pretty much got the uh, foot established and I'm going to put some uh, little decorative details in here um, not a whole lot it's nothing too fancy but it, it is a, a, a rustic bowl so I didn't want to get too detailed or too fancy and that's the uh, easy wood tools uh, small size detailer so as you can see here my fingers all bandaged up there from <laughs> a run in with the uh, bandsaw at the beginning of this project so please be careful follow all safety rules and and don't do stupid things like I did but and here I'm getting ready to uh, take it off that worm screw and uh, chuck it up in that chuck there and so I can start hollowing it out so here it goes put that tenon in the chuck jaws and you can see that hole there in the center that's where the worm screw that's a 3 8 inch hole and uh, that worm screw digs in there real good so I'm just going to work at hollowing it out and you all stay tuned I'll be back Now here I'm getting ready to switch to the easy wood tool finishing tool. That's the round carbide cutter with a negative rake scraper on the end there. Makes for a very, very smooth surface. I don't have to do much sanding to it when it's all said and done. This tool works awesome. I really enjoy it. You can see the pencil line there. Um, I was trying to establish a good diameter that wasn't hanging off one edge or the other so I didn't I didn't want a flat spot because it wasn't going to be centered as you can see there's a little flat spot on one side because it's just a tad off center which is not a problem it's aesthetically pleasing so it doesn't hurt my feelings I don't know about you but it doesn't hurt my feelings at all so and I use that line to make a lip for the dish itself and again it's got a tiny little flat spot on one side but that's okay 
because I, I really wanted to leave those saw marks on those, uh, the two sides. It, it, aesthetically, it's, just, it's really good. So I'm going to keep sending this in. Uh, keep working at it a little bit. I didn't need to much. As you can see, I started at 220 because that Easy Wood Tools uh, finisher leaves a nice, nice finish. I got a little bit of tear, on, uh, tear out on the end grain there, but it sanded out good. So keep watching. And don't forget to get to the end. There's uh, some still photos of both bowls that came out of that one 18 inch piece of uh, firewood that I rescued from the fire pit. Now what you see me using here is uh, a product called Axe Wood Paste, A-C-K-S, Axe. Uh, it's a wood paste and they have polishing compound. And I really enjoy the, the color that it uh, gave this wood. So, And that's all I use on this. I didn't put any wax or sanding sealer or anything like that on here. Use the Axe Wood Paste and the polishing compound after this. And it turns out quite good. I really like that. Uh, finish that it puts on there. Again, the ACKS. You can find it uh, on Amazon or you can go to their webpage, webpage.com. So now you'll you'll see me. Uh, well, you didn't see me, but sorry. <laughs> Here's the finished product. This is the bowl you actually saw me turn in this video. That's the bottom side. Like I said, I love that saw cut there. Same thing on that side. And uh, here's the second one that I did out of uh, that same piece of firewood. About the same size. This one has a uh, recess in the bottom versus the uh, tenon. I wanted to show you all both applications. So thanks for being here. It has been a pleasure having you all here.
Please don't forget to give this video a like and please subscribe. Last but not least, click the notification bell so you will know when new videos are posted. Thanks to all of you for your support.